Alright, what is up guys? I'm finally bringing you guys the Season 7 warm-up. Now this may look very familiar to the Season 6 warm-up, but it is very different actually. We have 10 sections now instead of 8. And in case you don't know how this works, if you do not want to play all 10 of these, you can just shoot out the ones that you don't want to play. And there you go. You will only be playing these ones that you left. And as far as the mini games go, we still got the aim duels, the crosshair, the 1x1 fight, the box fight. The only thing that's pretty much new in the main lobby is the glide section, which replaced the bow training. And this is going to be really good because launch pads were reintroduced into the game, so that should be pretty good practice there. So really quickly before I get into the warm-up, I just want to let you guys know that Novos will be doing a routine on this map, so if you guys want to check that out. And if you guys haven't heard of Novos, it's actually a really good platform if you're looking to improve. To sign up, you just have to answer a few questions like what skills you're liking in and what time of day you usually play at. And then from there, it basically automatically schedules a whole routine designed for you. So if you guys want to go check that out, make sure you go in the description. But anyways, let's get on with the video. Anyways, entering the actual warm-up area, you can go over here into this matchmaking area, go into the recent islands and favorite the map so you can save it for the future. But anyways, let's get into the course itself because it has a lot of new things that I'm sure you guys will enjoy. So as usual, you have a little intro here when you start the course. Nothing too crazy. And here we have an actual realistic tunnel section now, so we have real terrain as well as a storm. So it should play out much more realistically now. Yeah, as long as you stay protected here and making sure you're covering all your angles, you should be able to run through this pretty smoothly. And if you do happen to die, don't worry because it'll just set you back and reset the storm and you can go all over again. Now it's actually kind of cool if you do die because you actually can just kind of run through your own builds here and pretend like they're opponent's builds and kind of just work around it. And then just make sure you go towards the arrow and enter the teleporter. And then here we have weapon swap just from the last season. Basically you just switch between your pump and uh, AR. And here we just have an edit course which you basically have to build through yourself. And the reason I made it you have to build the edit course yourself is because it just increases your building flow. And occasionally you will find some enemies kind of just roaming around here. Here we have probably one of the funnest parts of the map is movement. And basically you just go through here make sure you hit all the targets. And it's actually pretty satisfying to complete if you do it flawlessly like this. Here we have realistic fights kind of inspired by my realistic peace control map. And basically you just get put into realistic situations that you would find yourself in game. And the bots do reposition themselves so it kind of simulates a player kind of trying to escape like this. Pretty cool. And here we have combat and this is mostly like practicing your fighting skills. And here we have a newer section here. You actually have to kind of diagonally jump here and cone the enemy. Go around here and shoot him. Here we have another new one. You just basically cone above the wall. And a lot of people don't know that you can even do this. Then here we just have pre-fire section. So as soon as he breaks the wall, you want to shoot and replace it. Then here you're just practicing placing the high wall while you're doing a side jump. And in this area you have to be careful because you're actually fighting between two opponents here. So make sure you block one off and then go for one at a time.
All right, here we have a new one. So this is actually a pretty common situation. You just replace the wall, shoot him. He'll try to escape from the top and you place a high wall to block him. And just like that, you got it done. Here we have peak shots. You can read this if you would like, but basically the bots have increased accuracy. So you gotta be careful on how you edit this. So you wanna make more like smaller edits just like this. Because if you did a giant edit like this, you'll just overexpose yourself when you don't need to. And same here, make sure you do a top row edit because if you do a triangle edit, then it's hard to reset that wall. You have to be in build mode. And then here you just take the wall from one tile away and I kind of need to work on this myself. That one was actually pretty good there. And then right here, make sure you stay on top and try to practice safely peeking from up here. But yeah, just make sure you make good habits. Make sure you are in cover by the time you actually confirm the edit. So if, even if you have to like wait a second to get into cover again, it's better than getting shot at. And here you guys wanted some more aim. So I included some air track in here. And then once you finish the course, it'll give you your time and minutes left and you start with 20 minutes. So it took me about 15 minutes to do this. So it did take me a little longer than usual because I was demonstrating the map to you guys. But if you are a pretty good player yourself, you should be getting a time around here. And if you're more of an average player, then it might take you the full 20 minutes in order to complete all 10 of the courses. And then you can easily just restart the map by shooting the restart button and you get set back to the main lobby with your weapons and loadout still. So if you don't want your warmups taking up like 15 or 20 minutes, you might want to take some of these sections out. That way it reduces the time if you're trying to just get a really quick warm up in. If you guys did enjoy this map, I'd really appreciate it if you guys could drop a like because I do spend a lot of hours making these maps for you. And I'm going to continue making more throughout Season 7. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one.